In this video, I explain how to create a basic data collector. This video is tied to a bigger series called Predictive Analytics using Excel 2010. You can view this part of the series, Data Collection, by clicking the link in the description below. Essentially, the data collector is a web scraper powered by VBA that fills out a form on Yahoo Finance to pull historical stock prices into Excel via a CSV file. Once the data is in Excel, the data is formatted into the correct columns, and then the day over day change and percent change are calculated. So start by clicking Alt 11 to enter the VBA editor. So the procedure is broken down into five sub procedures auto open, get CSV sort data, change, and percent change. The first sub-procedure, auto-open, automatically runs the VBA procedure as well as all the subsequent sub-procedures when the file is opened. So every month they open the file to automatically run the VBA to pull and format the data. The next sub-procedure, getCSV, uses the query tables Dot add method to pull the CSV file using the following URL. This URL is right here. And so let me show you where this gets pulled from. And so this is basically getting pulled from right here. So what the VBA does is it fills out the form, the correct dates. And so then that'll ex and then that'll extract out the CSV file. And beneath the method, I basically use text to columns to format the data into the appropriate columns. So I'll put a breakpoint in, and then run the procedure. And let me pull back up the Excel file. So as you can tell, the data pulled is basically for the last six days. If this had been run on Monday, July 30th, it would have pulled the data from the previous week. And so the next sub-procedure sorts the date in ascending order or oldest to newest. And so when I run that sub-procedure, you can see that the new dates have been sorted. Okay, and so the final two sub-procedures, change and percent change, calculate the day-over-day -day change and the percent change. So if I go ahead and run those, you can see that these have been calculated now. So now I'm ready to conduct analysis on the data. Overall, when working with VBA, since you can record macros and then edit the actual macro, First, ask yourself how you would do whatever it is you want done without VBA. Then you can test it in Excel, record a macro, and then edit the actual code in the VBA editor. So in the next video, I'll cover linear regression using the data pulled from Yahoo Finance. Thanks for watching.